Coach. A coach is a person who teaches sports. My coach gets very excited during games. Control. To control something is to make it do what you want. To control the TV, just push the buttons. Description. A description of someone or something says what they are like. I gave a description of the man with the gun and hat to the police. Direct. If something is direct, it goes straight between two places. The green path is a direct route to my house. Exam. An exam is a test. I did some practice questions for the math exam on the board. Example. An example of something is a thing that is typical of it. Cola is an example of a soft drink. Limit. A limit is the largest or smallest amount of something that you allow. My mother put a limit on how much I could use the phone. Local. If something is local, it is nearby. The local market in my neighborhood sells all the food we need. Magical. Magical describes a quality that makes someone or something special. The fireworks made the night sky look so magical. Mail. Mail is letters and other things sent to people. I get a lot of mail because I have friends all over the world. Novel. A novel is a book that tells a story. He wrote a great novel about ancient China. Outline. An outline is the plan for a story or essay. Before I wrote my essay, I made an outline. Poet. A poet is a person who writes poems. William Shakespeare was one of the greatest poets. Print. To print something is to put it onto paper. Make sure that you print your name clearly. Scene. A scene is one part of a book or movie. A movie is made up of many short pieces or scenes. Sheet. A sheet is a thin, flat piece of paper. I only needed a single sheet of paper to do my homework. Silly. If someone or something is silly, they show a lack of thought. I made a silly mistake of dropping mom's vase. Store. A store is a place where you can buy things. I picked up a few things at the grocery store. Suffer. To suffer is to feel pain. Her headache made her suffer all day. Technology. Technology is new things made by using science. He loves technology, such as laptop computers. A magical book. Sarah loved to read. She read novels and poems. She loved the beautiful descriptions and phrases. She loved reading work from poets and novelists. She didn't like video games or technology. She was on the basketball team, but she didn't like sports. Her parents made her play basketball. In fact, Sarah's parents made her do many things.
But she didn't want to do those things. She just wanted to sit and read all day. One day, a small book came in the mail. It was for Sarah. The book looked very special. It was printed on sheets of gold. Sarah began to read. The outline of the story was simple. It was about a magical place. Strange things happened there. One example from the book was about a boy who could control people. In one scene, he made his friends tell funny jokes. Sarah loved the book. She read it all the time. Then something strange happened. The book gave Sarah a special power. She could control other people. She was like the boy in the book. During one exam, she made her friend tell silly jokes. Her friend got in trouble. After school, Sarah did not make a direct trip home. On the way, she went to the local store. She wanted to play more tricks on people. She caused problems. She made people fall down. She laughed and had fun. Finally, she left and started to walk home. Then she saw something. Her basketball coach was about to walk in front of a bus. He was looking the other way. She had to stop him. She used her power. She controlled him. She made him stop walking. Sarah learned something that day. It was better to help people than make them suffer. So she put a limit on how she used her power. She did not want to do bad things with it anymore. She only wanted to do good.